So do you guys remember where I was last week? All right, guys. Let me show you how I got to this point. I didn't get any footage of this last night because my phone was uploading the video to YouTube, but I got some drywall up last night. It was hard. It was a little thicker to get to the studs than I wanted it to be. It doesn't look good. Like some of these studs make no sense. I'm catching stud here, put my screws in there. I don't know why I did two holes there. Some days you're the horse, some days you're the horse's ass. Right now I'm the second one. I'm not a drywaller. I'm not. I'm not doing great with this. Oh my God, I got a stud. Oh, thank God. I had one and five ace just because I thought I could get one and five ace through this drywall up into the studs and it just was not grabbing enough and I need to get it up. Um, I have some inch and a half screws. They're not drywall screws, but they're getting it done for me. It is what it is. I can see the studs. I have one stud visible over here. That's why I marked off this stud. These ones are 16 inch on center, even though I had some random issues there. I'm sure some studs are uneven or whatever, but I hit studs on 16 in some spots, didn't know on others, and it just makes no sense. No sense. All right, guys, I'm done the drywall on the ceiling. It's not good. It really isn't. I'm gonna have to cover it up with some mud magic, as my friends at work would say. Another shout out to Steve, but yeah, this is what we're dealing with. I'm gonna have to live with it right now. I'm not buying another sheet of drywall. I'm not going back and taking this down. I'm gonna live with it. All right, well, we had a tile change. Um, these were a lot cheaper, so that's where we're at. These were $2.99 a sheet, where the hexagon tile we had before, although it would have been easier, a little bit easier, uh, was $5 a sheet. So this is where I get into the DIY stuff because when it comes to herringbone tile, I've never cut it before. I've never centered it before. I need to figure out what I'm doing. So this is new to me. I'm doing some research. I'm going to do it right, or at least I'm going to try. So I'm about to be setting up the tile saw here. This is actually a tile saw that my buddy Steve gave me uh, for free. Thank you, Steve. Um, it didn't have a fence with it, but I grabbed the fence from my table saw and I just threw a little shim behind it and it's got your measurements on each side so I can know that my fence is straight if I'm gonna use that for any cuts. I don't know if that's technically right, but for a free saw, thing runs pretty darn good. So I'm gonna throw a towel over my table saw. It's a nice working height for me and uh, I'll be doing the cuts out here, try to minimize the mess outside, inside. All right, guys, I got the uh, tile saw set up on my table saw out here because it really puts me on a nice height. Um, I don't know if you can see, but Meg is in there doing the uh, rest of the wallpaper right now, which is probably the worst job in this job. So I'm thankful that she's doing it. But um, I found my center on my tile. I didn't take any footage of me finding the center because I'm an idiot and it takes me forever to figure out my tile layout. But um, I think I have my center. I can do a, these, these tiles are 13 inches. I can do a six and a half cut up the middle and I'm good uh, from left to right on the backsplash. It's not going well. I mean, how the hell else am I supposed to cut this? Unless it's just going to be impossible to keep those tiny pieces in there, which then uh, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, because as you can see, it ate those out. Oh, damn it. Well, let's see what we got. All right, so here's where I wound up with on these cuts. I'm gonna be putting a piece of wood on this so I have a little bit of play over here. I also have some on the other side. 
But um, yeah, I cut out these little triangle pieces here, which there's a way I can cover that up. I think I think I might just need a new blade, but I don't know if those are gonna stand there because they're so small. But I mean, if I can use one tile for my cuts instead of two, that's uh, saving an entire box of tile. Plus, I don't know if it's really gonna benefit me at all. I mean, I could technically do a seven inch piece down here and then do a different cut. That would be a um, six inch cut on this side, but I don't know. Now I gotta get my layout to cut these bottoms and then I can start to put them up. All right, let's get this blade off here. First step of the day, get a new blade. That way, other way. We're off to a good start. There's a lot of bees around here. I'm afraid of bees. What is that, a butterfly? Jeez. Hate bugs. Coffee is very important. So, I need to go get a new blade. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna get cut in some tile because I'm gonna have the same cuts on each row, which is like glorious. I'm excited for that. Um, I might see if I can get a wood panel to cover this up. Uh, if not, I'm gonna be trying to do some magic on that as well. So we'll see. But uh, we're looking good here, guys. I'm excited about it. It's going to be a big day today. Everything is going to go well, and not a single thing is going to go wrong. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Well, guys, remember I said that you always know someone who has a tile saw? Well, I got one for free, but I ran into a problem. Needed a new blade. It had a one-inch arbor, and I can't find any blades with one-inch arbors anywhere. So I had to go buy a cheap tile saw myself with a 5 8 arbor. I already had the 5 ace blade, it is what it is, uh, you know, so now I'm the guy you can borrow a saw from, but runs very smooth, I'm excited to have a new saw to cut this stuff, and here's my crappy cut from last night, let's see if this saw does better. I'm the plumber, so I should order the faucet, plus I know some good designs. And we'll see if I like it. So this is what I'm doing to uh, measure my tile here. It's pretty simple. I just need to get my flat edge so I can go directly to the base here. So all I'm doing, this one's already cut. And then you just line it up with your tape. I have two pieces of tile here. I just cut the tape and then I use that as my line to make my cuts. This was a problem I ran into with this tile, but it actually started to get better the more I was cutting them. A lot of those pieces weren't falling out. I was able to just piece them in after gluing. So it wasn't that bad. All right, it's time to mix up some mortar. I always use the white Versabond mortar from Home Depot. Affordable, it's like 30 bucks. Um, always put water in your bucket before pouring your mortar in. Um, I've mixed mortar for many years, setting uh, shower bases and everything. Um, I always like to try to get on the first try, but if not, I always put less water than you need in there so you don't have to worry about putting too much water in. You don't want it to be soupy. Using all of it in a day, like I have about maybe not even one third of the bucket filled, maybe a quarter of the bucket, because you do not, this stuff dries real quick. You can't leave it in the bucket and cover it up overnight. I just have a basic uh, mixer here with my drill. right there that's where you want to start because 
it's a little soupy still. You don't want to go too heavy too in the beginning because then you got to add more water and then it might turn into a uh, vicious cycle. Oh yeah, that feels perfect right now. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Time to start tiling. Here's where I'm at getting the first row started, guys. Um, I forgot to film it because I was so focused on just making sure everything was working out. Um, I got to make some cuts. That's why, uh, you know, this mortar dries quick, when, especially when you get it on the wall. So I flattened out these areas where I had my, I'm using actually a 3 16th um, trowel because that's what was suggested. But I got to make another cut for this outlet here. My edges are looking good. I'm gonna have a piece of wood. This is a little bit short, but it's also because I can use one tile instead of two on each row. I'm gonna have a piece of blocking going up here because I'm gonna be putting a piece of wood on this as well. So you'll never know that that happened. That's done on purpose. But um, I'm not even using spacers where these are separating right now, just because even when I put them in, it doesn't really work, but it looks good. Guys, here I'm at with the tile. Um, haven't been filming much of it just because I'm very focused on it because it's difficult. I've had a hard time with it. Uh, I had a hard time measuring. What do you think, buddy? How do you think it looks? Good. Looks all right? Had a hard time measuring it. I had a hard time measuring it and everything, but we're getting it up here and it's actually looking really good. So I'm happy with it. Struggling a bit, but we're getting there. I'm not a tile guy. We're figuring it out. Here we're at with the tile. I only have two rows left. Um, everything's going pretty smoothly. I struggled a bit in the beginning. The bottom row gave me problems. Some of the tile was breaking off of it, but we're cruising here and this is looking pretty damn good here. So I'm happy with it. It's gonna be white grout. We're looking good. When this stuff dries so fast, I'm trying not to get ahead of myself and it's hard with these little triangle peaks in it because if you do get ahead of yourself and it dries, you're left doing exactly this. This is all it is. So just get in there. Make sure my gaps all look good right around here and here, which it does. <clears throat> I've actually been grabbing the uh, grout float as well and just kind of Pushing it on there. Been staying up pretty good. These are the kind of cuts that have made this a difficult job. But that's for that top corner. I mean, look at that. You're not going to see that, but we're finishing up here. It's a lot of tile. A lot of tile. One of the annoying parts of the sheets of tile is the amount of sheets you have to open and the amount of plastic that you have to cut open. Whew. I will say I did not get a single broken box, broken piece of tile, not a single broken piece of tile in this whole thing. We're done the biggest portion of the tile for the kitchen. This took me a long time. Um, had to figure out the layout, as I've said before earlier, but everything went well. I have these two little gaps here that won't matter when I have my hood in. We ordered a matte black hood. I think it's gonna look awesome here. It's just gonna go straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna have our open shelves here, but 
Man, I am so happy with this backsplash. We had the hexagon design originally. Uh, Mrs. Doc saw the herringbone, could not help herself. Thank God, it was so easy to do. But it was worth it. I'm really happy with it. Um, I still gotta do this section over here, and then I gotta do a little small backsplash across the kitchen there, but that is not much at all. So this thing is really close to completion. All right, guys, it's Sunday morning. I should really say Sunday afternoon because it's just taken me forever to get up and get going today. Uh, I think I went a little bit too hard on this project yesterday and I was feeling it this morning. My body hurts a little bit, but I'm feeling good. I'm ready to get back going here. So um, Mrs. Doc is getting more tile right now. I'm going to finish the other corner here and finish the backsplash over there on the other side, which the other side budget fast project, I'm tiling over the old tile. Some might not recommend that. I'm on a budget. This kitchen is not going to be around forever. I'm not looking for that huge renovation. We're just looking to make what we have look better. Um, I have to do some spackling above the pantry over here, and then I'm going to try to finish my horrible mistake I made of buying half inch drywall and trying to match it up to thicker drywall. Um, I have two coats of spackle on that. A third coat might get me pretty close. I know some of you guys out there who probably do spackle work are just like, oh my God, this guy, what is he doing with that spackle? But it's going to look fine when it's all said and done. So I'm really happy with this tile came out. Uh, as I said previously, I struggled a bit to get started, but once I got started, we really started rolling on it. So uh, I'm excited to do this wall over here and that backsplash just because I'm in that tile zone. I'm really cutting tile, figuring it out. I'm, I'm rolling with the tile. So we're close here. Let's drink some more coffee and let's get going. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm going to start tiling this wall right here. Uh, we're clearing stuff out over on this side and I'm just going to be tiling right over this tile. I'm gonna really clean it up so my tile adheres to it well. Um, and yeah, we're not going through all the demo and all that stuff on this side. And then I just cut a little piece of uh, hardy back right here that I'm going to throw in this corner because why not follow the uh, tile all the way through there? I know I have some scrap pieces that'll be able to line up there. So this should be fairly simple, let's go. So I have my design laid out right here. I had to make that little notch cut down there and then I continue to the end over there, that's simple. And then just gonna run up. I realized that I can just use two tiles on this space, which I don't know if design wise it totally makes sense, but if I can just use two tiles and nip those edges on the saw, I'm happy with that. Probably some sitting here. There's one right there by that green tape. All right. And that is it for the, the sink side backsplash. What do you think? I mean, I got some decent gaps up here. I didn't realize how big those gaps are up here last night. Again, the beauty is, is that it's gonna be white on white, so. Yeah. This might be pretty noticeable. That's like a half inch. I don't know how that happened. Sink side backsplash is done. I definitely was a little better with the tile today. I'm wearing my little safety glasses I have here still. They're actually like blue light glasses and I think they're girls glasses, but I like them. Here's that backsplash completed. Is it perfect? No. Can you tell it's not perfect? Not really. I know where I made my mistakes. Um, the grout is gonna be white. So a lot of those mistakes will probably get covered up anyway. 
Again, I'm utilizing this blue tape uh, tarp here, which works great. Meg is already painting these. I'm trying to protect this as much as I can. Um, and now I'm going to be tiling over tile. I'm hoping this goes well. All right, so here's how we're looking on operation save time and money here. We degreased the tile, cleaned it all up. We seem to be sticking to it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It feels like it's sticking to it. And there you have it. Gotta do grout. I'm gonna cover up that outlet. Safety first. But man, I'm seeing that vision coming together right now. Good old microwave box. We wanted to take this thing out. I mean, look at that. Just a big old box sticking out. We'll figure out something for that one day. But man, we're looking good. All right, guys. Well, just last weekend, I was standing here telling you about the project I was getting started. We still had cabinets on these walls. And then the next day, it was pure destruction. And I did not know what I was in for. But it's time to take a tour of where we're at right now. And I'm extremely happy with it. I'm very happy with the results. It's been a lot of work, but let's see what we got going on here. So as you can see, I did a lot of tile work. And I mean a lot, but I'm extremely happy with it. I didn't know if I was going to go over in that corner over there and I decided to do it. It came out great. Um, I still got to do one more layer of spackle over here, but one of the nicest things about this tile, actually, that finishing strip just made it look so much better, actually. And I know that's a normal thing. Tile guys know that, but it came out really, really clean. So I'm going to have to do a bit of a thicker caulk in the corner because there's a little bit of wobbliness going on with that wall, but that's fine. So here is our little fisheye view of our backsplash. So the hood has been ordered. It is going to be a matte black hood, which I think is going to look awesome with this. Um, I have a piece of wood that I'm gonna be throwing over the side here that will cover up and clean up my tile on the side right there. Um, now, let's look at the other side of the kitchen. I did the tile straight onto the tile. Tile on tile action. So everything's been holding up good so far. We'll see how it stands the test of time. But this is more of a fuller preview of what we're going for here in this kitchen is, again, there's my beautiful box microwave. I wish I took it down. It still might be coming down one day. This is the bigger preview of what this side is gonna look like, so. This is good. This is like our coffee corner. We just keep our coffee there, throw our keys underneath there, all that fun stuff. So, Ooh. So that's where we're at. I plan to be a weeknight warrior this week. I plan to get this grout done. Um, we actually have an event at our house next weekend. So I'm up against the clock. If I'm a betting man, by the time that event happens, I have a feeling I'll have the hood up, I'll have the new faucet in, I'll have everything grouted. The only thing I'm not so sure about yet is whether I'll have the floating shelves up or not. If I do, do have those up, I'm extremely happy. I'm gonna be replacing the outlets too. Um, that's definitely a given. Uh, I already have those purchased. They were figured into the budget. Budget is still holding strong for $1,000 in material, guys. I know people didn't think it was possible, but it's holding strong. So stay tuned this week, guys. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. As I've said before, I'm new to YouTube here. TikTok was my scene before, but I wanted to make some longer videos and interact with you guys on here. I'm really excited to be building up a little group of subscribers here. And guys, feel free to comment. I'll answer your comments. You know, I'm a nice guy, so.
Thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. Dave Doc DUI. <coughs> Dave Doc DIY. I'll see you next time. <laughs>